Have you ever heard of the term bully breeds when it comes to dogs? Well, some dogs with this unfair label are American pit bull terriers, bulldogs, staffies, and boxers. And it seems nowadays that shelters, rescues, and foster homes are full of them. And here to clear up some misconceptions regarding bully breeds and to talk about why these breeds are so overpopulated is Mariah with the Humane Society of Southern Arizona. Mariah, I am so glad this is what we're talking about today because, as Tina said, you know, there are so many misconceptions and you actually brought a very sweet friend with you today. Who is this? <laughs> this is Dudley, and he's already putting on a little show for you. <laughs> and he couldn't be sweeter. I, mean, oh, no. I don't care what breed he is because he's just a little love muffin. <laughs> so maybe tell us what breed is Dudley. Dudley is a pit bull. He's an American pit bull terrier, and he just saw himself in the camera. Yeah, he sure did. He wants to make friends with it. Um, <laughs> Come and here, Dudley. Come Dudley here. is actually, you know, when you look at him up close, especially, you can see a lot of scarring on his body. You can see he's got, you know, big head. He's a strong guy. And he can look intimidating to some people. It's not too surprising. He looks a little bit scary yeah. to some people. Um, and what we want to talk about is just that what you've all seen in here. He's like the squishiest, lovable dog. And all he does is that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's his attack mode. <laughs> So why do you think that these breeds, and, and I told you even to the commercial break, I grew up with boxers, and yeah. I didn't learn until I was into adult that these boxers had such a, a bad rap. So why is it that these breeds go under these bully breed label? Well, the easiest thing we have to kind of discuss is just that we as humans don't ever take responsibility for our actions. So it's not that Dudley is innately dangerous. It's that the people that owned him and the people that had him were dangerous people. So they were using him, most likely. He was a stray, so we don't know his full information. But if he was involved in a fighting ring, his whole mindset is, I have to be loyal to my people. And his people want him to fight, so that's what he does. They're not innately dangerous animals. He's no more dangerous than the chihuahua in the kennel next to him. It's just the environment that they're put into. That's very well put. I like that. I mean, so if we remove them from this harmful situation, they really are just another sweet dog. And I think Dudley proves that. So another thing, Mariah, that we mentioned is, you know, we seem to see kind of an influx of these breeds, pit bull mixes, pit bulls, you know, and, and is there a reason for that? Well, the overpopulation is due to the fact that if these breeds are involved in fighting rings or they're being used for any kind of dangerous activity, they're not being owned by responsible people. So they're certainly not having a vet check them up annually. They're not, <laughs> they're not having someone, he loves this carpet. <laughs> um, they're not having someone making sure that they're getting spayed and neutered, making sure mm -hmm. that they're getting their vaccinations. And if you have an irresponsible owner, the dog's only going to do what the dog's going to do on their own, which is to breed erratically. And then they're leaving behind tons and tons of litters. And then those litters are being put into dangerous situations and the cycle just continues. Look, even just having you on once a week, we have a lot of pit bull mixes mm -hmm. that come on that are up for adoption. Now, what is it that the Humane Society is doing to kind of push push through the stereotype and to let people know that, that these dogs are still good, you know, dogs that can go home and, and live a life that's going to be sweet and fluffy? Well, it starts just like today, bringing them on TV. You get to see a couple minutes of their actual personality. When you walk through the shelter and you see 15 pit mixes up at the gate looking at you, it can be kind of yeah. like, okay, what did I get myself into? But they're just like any other dog. He's like the silliest, goofiest dog I've ever met. He saw himself in the mirror in the green room and was just staring at it like, <laughs> there's another friend and I can't get to it. And it's actually himself. <laughs> I love that. Well, I mean, one of the things, too, that you've said today, Mariah, is um, you've mentioned the dog fighting and, and the unsafe situations. And, and I think for a lot of people, that kind of raises a red flag. So when we adopt an animal from the Humane Society, how do we know that, you know, they're, we're not getting a dog that maybe was in one of those situations or that the dog will be safe? Well, we do see a lot of dogs that were confirmed to be in fighting situations. We see a lot of busts. We have the Animal Cruelty Task Force that are investigating a lot of those situations. So. We do have dogs that are coming out of fighting situations. And then we have dogs like Dudley where it's possible, but we just don't know. And the thing to remember is just that they're going to treat you the way you treat them. So if you're putting them in dangerous situations, they're going to be on guard. They're going to be scared and they're going to act out of fear. And that's all it is. They're just acting the way you want them to act and the way you show them they need to act. If you're treating them with love and you're giving them a scratchy carpet to rub yeah. all over, <laughs> this is how they're going to act. And this is the dog you're going to get. I really don't see Dudley doing any harm to anyone. Aww. And they go through a lot of training. We have the canine college program to make sure that the dog you are getting 
is respectful, is a good citizen, is going to be someone you want to take out with you and not someone that you're afraid to bring around other people. Well, of course, we want to make sure that people, you know, when they're ready to open up their home to a loving dog, they come and give, you know, all of them a good chance. So, again, thank you for attacking this subject, Mariah, and for bringing Dudley. Dudley, you're welcome for the carpet. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, my God, he's so cute. <laughs> the Humane Society of Southern Arizona invites you to adopt an animal. For more information, visit their location on Kelvin Boulevard. Log on to hssaz.org or give them a call. They're at 321-3704.